Yo, what's cracking YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be building Hector's 1992 Honda Civic from the Fast and the Furious. Now to create this build, ladies and gentlemen, you're definitely going to need this vehicle, the Blister Kanjo, which was a brand new vehicle released with the Casino Heist DLC. And this just looks awesome. This is why I've stayed away from this build previously on my channel, because every other car in the game comes nowhere near a Honda Civic from this sort of era. And now we have it. I've got to build it, man. So straight up, we've got the Honda Civic from the Fast and the Furious, driven by Hector. And without any further ado, let's get straight into it. So we're gonna to go to the armor and purchase 100% body armor. We're obviously gonna get the race brakes to go with that. For the front bumper, we are gonna grab this track bumper. I know that it looks a little bit different because it's obviously got the carbon fiber fins on the side. Um, and Hector's doesn't have the carbon fiber, but this is the closest thing uh, that we can get to the Civic from Fast and the Furious. So we're gonna grab the track bumper. Now for the rear bumper, it's nothing too crazy. It is obviously all color coded and a little bit lower than the stock version. Uh, so we are gonna grab just this primary trim bumper. Next, we're gonna get the level four engine upgrade. Then we're gonna move on to the exhaust. We're gonna get something mean on this. So we need a big ass exhaust. And I think the big bore titanium or the chrome big bore. I'm gonna say the chrome big ball for the exhaust. Then we're gonna to go to the fenders. Uh, don't think we're gonna change anything on here actually because he doesn't, re does he have a bolt on kit? I don't think he does. A few moments later. So we're gonna stay stock for the fenders. Next we're gonna to go to the grill. We're gonna grab the intercooler with water sprayer. Then we're gonna move on to the hood. He has a double vented hood. Hopefully we can receive one of them in this. Uh, it's not looking good. Oh nah. What an asshole. That sucks, man. So we can't get the double vented hood, which we need. Um, so we will have to just get a, a vented hood as a sort of like replacement. I think maybe something like this is probably the best substitution for it. So we're gonna go with a performance hood. Then we're gonna go to the lights and purchase the Xeon headlights. And obviously we need a neon kit. We're gonna go with the layout front, back and sides. And for the neon color, we are gonna go with a golden shower or oh, yeah. We're gonna go golden shower. So next we're gonna go to the respray. We're gonna go primary color, metallic, and we wanna purchase bronze. Same goes for the secondary color, also into metallic and bronze. And this obviously being a Fast and the Furious vehicle, we are gonna go into the roll cage and purchase the track half cage. So next we've got the side skirts and we are gonna go and grab the race skirts. So then it brings us nicely onto the spoiler. Now the car from the Fast and the Furious has a dual spoiler, one at the top and like a, one at the top of the window and then one at the bottom of the window. Um, kind of looks strange to me. So I'm hoping that we can get something like that. I'm not 100% sure actually, um, unless there's another option. I think it's trunk, no. Um, I don't think there's another option to get a, a double spoiler. So hopefully we can get a double spoiler amongst this lot. I can't really remember if we can or not. I don't think we do. If we don't, that's gonna suck. So the only thing that I can think of that looks anywhere near what he has in the, in the movie is the stock wing, but then is a little bit more raised up than that. But then this looks a little bit too far raised. Um, to give it a little contrast, maybe go for something like this. I think the flap wing looks pretty good because all these ain't any good. No point in choosing any of those. Um, I kind of like that, but then, like I said, it is raised up at you know quite a bit, and um, it kind of doesn't look like it at all. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think the the primary flap wing. It's probably the best option. So next we're going to move on to the sun strip. I don't think there's anything on the sun strip that we can do. Um, I don't think he's even got a sun strip actually. I think he's got some lettering across there. But um, yeah, I don't really want a gold sun strip to go across the top of the windscreen. So I'm going to say none for the sun strip. Then we've got the suspension. We're not going to get the competition suspension because it does that. So we are going to get the sport suspension. Transmission, we're obviously gonna get the race transmission. For the trunk, we are gonna color code it. So with the, 
yeah, we're going to go with the primary colour trunk. Then we're going to move on to the turbo and get the turbo tuning for the wheels, wheel type. We are going to go into the SUV category. And from here, you want to go and purchase the Cosmo rims. They are pretty much identical to what you need. I'm in story mode at the moment, so I can't get them in Chrome unless I go into my mod menu and change them to Chrome. Um, they look good in alloy, don't get me wrong, but if you're in online and you want to create this build, I suggest getting the Chrome variants of these. Um, but alloy looks good too, because obviously Chrome's a lot more expensive, so if you can't afford the Chrome, uh, the Chrome rims, get the alloy color. It works just as well, but Chrome would look awesome. And to finish off this build, as always, we could go into the windows and purchase the Like Smoke window tin. All right, so there you go, my dudes. As we pull out, this is Hector's 1992 Honda Civic from the Fast and the Furious. Now, ever since Rockstar added this Kanjo to the game, I've wanted to do this build. I've just obviously been doing the reviews uh, before that because I wanted to get the reviews out so people know what, what to buy and what not to buy. Um, so this kind of played second fiddle, but I had to do it, man. I had to get this Kanjo build out or the Honda Civic Fast and Furious build out sooner rather than later. Again, we do have this clipping issue with the wheel when you go into competition suspension. It kind of clips through the the fenders, which is kind of annoying, but I can see past that because you don't really see that side of the car when you're driving anyways. Or even if you're at a show, like a car meet show, you'll be out of the car and the wheels won't be turning. So it's nothing too drastic, nothing to really worry about. Uh, but it is kind of annoying. Little attentions to detail like that have been ignored where Rockstar could have done something about it. But anyway, going back to the actual build and what it looks like, this is 100% unmistakably supposed to be a Honda Civic it is evident you know there's no denying that this is supposed to be a Honda Civic um, getting it identical to Hector's is quite difficult because we haven't got the actual body kits or even the, the right spoilers um, but or even the hood actually <laughs> we even got the right hood so it's quite difficult getting it to look like uh, the one from the movie but with the right colors then rims are bang on they're exactly what we need um, the, the, the overall shape of the car is perfect, the rims are perfect, um, it's just the body kit, the hood and the spoiler, you know, they, they kind of let it down a little bit, um, but I can see past that, I think just the overall shape of the car with the, the correct rims and the correct colour kind of gives off um, a big enough effect for you to know that where this car has come from, and like I said, Hector's 1992 Honda Civic from the Fast and the Furious and I'm overly happy with it. I think it looks awesome regardless of the the downfalls to this build obviously like I've said with the body kit um, we can't get it can't get it exactly like what it's like in the movie but I'm happy with what we can do and it's 10 times better what we could do before this Kanjo was released. Um, so I'm really happy with this build. I hope you guys did enjoy this one. If you did please smash that like button let me know how you feel or what you think of this build down in the comments below. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.